What's up y'all? My name's Avina Zirin and today I'm going to be showing you guys some products that I highly recommend for you to get for this spring and summer season. Several months ago, a company called WaveRx reached out to me and was very interested in me testing out their products. And you know I had to test these products out multiple times because if I'm putting my stamp of approval behind products, I have to make sure they are legit. And let me tell you, I'm pretty impressed with the products that they sent over. So what we have here is WaveRx's soft loop jet ski cleats. These come in a seven pack with various sizes. And as you notice, they don't have any metal on it, which makes it rust free. And they're pretty durable and flexible. Well, you're probably wondering, well, what are these for exactly? Sometimes you have difficulty finding places to mount your dock cleats. As you can see here, they have a loop and you just put it here. These holes right here can go on any exterior bolt. Okay, let me just demonstrate how to use these. So we're gonna go over here, right over here. And it can go to any PWC that has an exterior bolt. So you pick the size that you feel like you're gonna need, which I don't think I'm gonna need one of the longer ones. So I picked a shorter one, right? And then you just put it here. It's recommended to use a washer that way that, that it doesn't go through, but I don't have a washer right now. So we'll just go ahead and just show you an example. In. You just put it right there, or you can put it here, wherever you want on your deck, wherever they have an exterior bolt. So once you install these soft loop cleats, you don't ever have to really remove them. Now that I have the soft loop cleats installed, I'm gonna use any dock fender, but I have the Wave RX ones right here, to show you. All you're gonna have to do is apply the hook, loop it through the soft loop, and there you go. It's secure. No more having to wrap it back here multiple times and sometimes it gets loose, but look how this thing is. It's pretty tight. So, as you can see right here, it's very secure. It's on here snug. You don't have to worry about it popping up. It's on there. And let me show you an example of when it's in here. Cause it's so thin and the rubber gasket is in the inside of the tray. You can close this and still have access to the soft loop cleat. So to just demonstrate how it'll work when the lids close, I'm just gonna put it right here. Okay, and as you can see, it's protecting the speaker also from the dock. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about. If you own a sea with speakers or even a Yamaha, you guys know what I'm talking about when it kind of bumps up against the dock. Now that I'm done demonstrating the soft loop cleats, I wanna show you this. These are the Wave RX Tri Dock Fenders. It's similar to the dock fenders that you've seen um, or even own, but this has more protection. It has 18 inches horizontally and 18 inches vertically. Do you see how much it covers? And you, it even folds. So if I wanted to put it over here in this corner, right over here, hook it on the bottom and look. It protects it. It doesn't go underneath the dock. It hooks on the back and you can lift this up and hook it on there if you wanted to, or to the chair. And whatever brand of PWC you have, I'm sure you can find a place where you can just hook this on. Or 
use the soft loop cleats. All right, so let's look up close and personal. It's the Wave RX's dock fender, so it folds and makes it smaller so that you can put it in your compartment. It comes with a bungee, also this hook with a locking latch and quick release. This just to give you a comparison. These are the standard ones that go over here. Now, do you see the big difference from how much the Wave RX protects your PWC from getting dock rash? And if you guys don't know what dock rash is, that's basically a bunch of scratches on your PWC, on the paint, on the rub rails, just making your PWC not look as pretty and brand new like when you bought it. And when you fold it, it's not that much bigger. But before we move on, I'm gonna show you some videos of me using them in Florida and in Louisiana. So based on the video clips you just seen, you saw how well the Wave RX tri dock vendors protected my babies. And if you watch the channel, you know how much I love my Sea-Doo's. Now let's move on to the next product. Now the next product I'm gonna show you guys is the Wave RX Aluminum Alloy Spike Beach Anchor. This anchor holds a resistance of a thousand pounds. As you can see right here, it has a hollow tip and it has wings right here. So it creates a bite in there. And the way you would put it in is, you, of course you read the current and you pull on there and get a tight line, but this line will go towards your PWC and all you need to do is just step on it and it digs right in. I was able to hold two PWCs with this anchor. And we went into the restaurant, the current was changing and the waves were pretty rough on Lake George. And when we came out, it was still in the same place. And that's what you want, an anchor that you put out and you walk away and knowing it's gonna be there when you get back. So here is also the bungee that you add on to it. And it's the perfect link for a sand anchor. Another product Wave RX has is this Wave Cobra. It's the bigger version of the red one you just saw. I haven't been able to test this one out, but next time I'm out on the boat or if I need to hold multiple PWCs, I'm bringing out the big gun. Now, here you go. This one is in silver, same design as the red one, okay? And here are the mounts that you can put it in your boat or your PWC, and it comes with the screws. See? The Wave Cobra has a resistance of 5,000 pounds. So a big pontoon, a bigger boat, multiple PWCs, whatever you want to anchor and secure. Have you seen this thing? That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's a lot bigger. Let's compare it real quick. See the size? Size is different. Yep, and that's what I mean. I don't have to test this one out yet to know that it's gonna secure because if this one was able to hold two PWCs in rough water conditions, I'm sure this one will do just fine. But you gotta make sure if you're gonna get this one, you get the 50 foot bungee and it's sold separate right here now check out these clips of me using the sand anchor in multiple locations
These are some great products I highly recommend, especially if you don't own a sand anchor already or dock fenders, or if you need extra dock fenders. Wave RX makes some great products, and one thing that's really great about it is that they're on Amazon. So you can get it next day or two days shipping. And I'm gonna put the links of all these products down below in the video description. So you can go check them out yourself for pricing and availability. All right, y'all, so hopefully you really enjoyed the video and found it useful. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you really like the video, because it really does help out the channel. And don't forget to make sure to share with your friends and family. But until next time, see you guys on the water. Thank you.